This week looks like a pretty creative and energetic week, so you've got something really exciting to look forward to. Hi and welcome back. My name's Fran or Francisca and I make pick a card reading videos and also work as a psychic full time, so yeah anyway welcome if you haven't been here before welcome back if you have i'm traveling a little bit at the moment so last week i didn't quite manage to get the video done it's not the recording of it that takes time it's the editing and the uploading and going through all the palaver on youtube with descriptions and this and that and tags and making a thumbnail and you know it takes me probably a good three or four hours and sometimes life just gets in the way <laughs> it's just one of those things but anyway welcome i've definitely made sure i had the time this week to make one so if you haven't already please pick row one two or three and we'll get started okay so if you've picked row one we start the week on monday and tuesday with the page of wands so the page of wands is about excitement and travel and exploring and adventures and things like that and it's a great time for that for you on monday and tuesday so you might get an invitation or an opportunity to do something new interesting exciting even if you don't feel like it, it's worth doing because it's going to boost your energy and make you feel alive and energized and things like that. So it's it's worth having little adventures now and then. I mean, I've noticed that I've been staying put and really focused on, you know, the online world and websites and stuff. So actually just traveling and driving is really good. I find for me driving... I think about things and process things and I just enjoy it so yep so Monday and Tuesday for row ones great time to have some adventure to have some fun to just do something new and exciting that's going to give you a great boost of energy by Wednesday and Thursday we've got the ten of pentacles so the ten of pentacles is basically saying um, it's a good time for you financially so you may get a little bit of a bonus or a little bit of a surprise there's certainly something good um, financially happening in your life even if you don't get that instant reward you may be able to do something to improve your finances in the future the opportunities are there on Wednesday and Thursday it's a very very good time for financial opportunities and also a bit of gratitude the more we feel gratitude the more the universe kind of brings to us it's how it works you know because we're affirming that we have something wonderful and that level of energy because it's all energy um will bring us more of that level of goodness you know so don't forget to be you know grateful for for what you're receiving but very very good for you on that side of things on wednesday and Thursday so on Friday Saturday and Sunday we've got the moon moon is looking at your sort of instinctual self and we all have one of those beings inside of us so it was created a long time ago when we had to survive and hunt and escape things and run away and do all of that sort of a really instinctual stuff this isn't about intuition so much as your real instincts and they may be a bit heightened over the weekend. There could be something happening with the moon itself or just energetically. Um, be aware of it. Make sure you know what it is. We all have that stress, you know. That's that's what stress is, is our fight and flight is being heightened. Our adrenaline goes up and things can go a little bit silly. So over the weekend, make sure you burn that excess sort of nervous energy off if you're feeling it get out there do something physical burn it off blow blow the cobwebs out and also know what it is if we know what we're dealing with and why we're feeling the way we are it's much easier to calm down and go yeah okay that's instinctual stuff um and at the moment in the world with all the crazy that's going on out there a lot of people are feeling that a bit, you know, so if you're feeling it from the overwhelm, from what's happening in the world, maybe detach a bit, 
disconnect from the internet and the TV and all of that stuff and actually get out in nature and, you know, use that whole energy as a positive thing because, you know, our instinctual self also connects to nature and that's actually where it calms down. So, fantastic weekend for blowing out the cobwebs, getting rid of excess nervous energy, having some fun, don't get too stressed out. Fear is a natural part of life. It's when we resist it that it becomes a problem. So be aware of it, acknowledge it, say thank you and move on. So there's a bit of that energy around over the weekend and maybe you've got something stressful going on in your life. Make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you do good things that make you feel good. <laughs> Don't drink too much coffee if you're feeling like that because it'll hype you up more. Maybe drink a cup of chamomile tea instead because that's nice and calming. Um, so yeah, it's it's a time for self-nurturing and making sure that any stresses in your life you're dealing with well. So good time to take some time out for you. Don't overload yourself with stuff you don't need to do. You know, don't put too much on your own plate. And yeah, you'll get through the weekend just fine. So it's just a little bit of an edgy energy. So, but all in all, your week looks really, really good. There's a lot going on and that may be why you're feeling a little bit edgy over the weekend. So for row twos, we start the week Monday and Tuesday with the Six of Cups. Yes, I sometimes say the wrong name for the wrong card, but I still get the meaning and what, and what energy they have right because I read intuitively. So if I ever do that, please excuse me. I'm still reading the actual card, but when I read the tarot, I don't actually use the names mentally for myself. I just read the energy and the um, intuitively connect with it, you know. So anyway, Six of Cups is saying kindness generosity somebody may do something really nice for you on monday and tuesday be open to that you know some of us are givers and we're not very open to receiving this is saying be open to receive kindness and goodness into your life or you may not get to enjoy it and appreciate it you know and other people like giving too well some so <laughs> something nice may happen for you on Monday and Tuesday keep your eyes open for a nice gesture or some, just something lovely that makes you feel good or you may be helping somebody else but it's not out of obligation this is more because you really want to because you choose to it's not one of those oh, I have to it's more of a yeah I really feel like putting some energy into that person's whatever's going on with them and spending some time you know boosting them up so yeah it can also look at that so by Wednesday and Thursday we've got the three of pentacles which very much like in row one is, is on the material front and it's saying you know it's a good time to get some work done to work well with others you're going to get good results um so if you put the energy and the work into what you're trying to achieve now, especially if you combine your efforts with other people who are on the same wavelength, you're going to achieve a ton of things. You're going to work well with people. Things seem harmonious and that can be also in your love relationships. You know, you're just on a good wavelength midweek to be able to tackle some projects together. So if you've got something you've been wanting to tackle and you've kind of put on the back burner, um, working together on Wednesday and Thursday to get it done, even if it's just something around the house, is a really, really good time because it's all about harmony, working together. The energy is really, really good for that on Wednesday and Thursday for you. Both Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got the Ace of Swords. And that is saying clarity, a sharp mind, it's quite an intellectual influence, it's air, air is of the mind and our intellectual self and you're feeling very clear and very focused on where you're wanting to go, what you're wanting to get done. It's a really good time to think about that over the weekend because your rational mind is working very, very well over the weekend so it's a good time to make decisions if they've been decisions you haven't been sure of. By the weekend you're going to feel confident that you can make good and strong decisions for yourself so it looks like a really really fantastic week for that or weekend and yeah 
it's 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 just something positive that pops up you're just going to feel clear decisive onto a switched on ready to make the right choices and decisions for yourself or for your family you know so if you've got a conversation you've been meaning to have with somebody and you haven't wanted to tackle it weekend's a good time you're not you know you're sharp you're switched on you're going to be able to deal with it really well so yeah it looks like a good week for row twos as well once again quite a lot going on very productive creative good energy very sharp and decisive so for row threes we start the week with the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles we're looking at creativity getting things done that energy seems to be quite strong this week for all three rows and it's also saying that you're really focused and enjoying what you're doing it's something you don't mind doing your passion is in there so yeah it's a really really good time to tackle any creative projects any projects with work with your own plans with um yeah even a business things like that and at work you're going to do some really really good work so don't be afraid to share your ideas with your co-workers you've got some good ones you're feeling creative open-minded you're going to shine if you do so don't hold it all in um and even at home it can be a creative energy that you've got the right sort of frame of mind to to finish a project or get something done so yeah and it's saying you've got a lot of creative potential so believe in yourself you know often when I say to people oh you've got some creative talent they straight away think of art or painting or something big like that gosh some people are creative with their gardens with food with all sorts of things you know creativity is huge so really work on that and appreciate it you've got a lot of talent with that so by Wednesday and Thursday we've got the ten of cups that is how many people coming together with people you care about that may be your actual family or it could be people who are like family you know our family are the people who have our best interests and in, at heart and sometimes people don't have that in their actual family but they have friends who are as good as family who support them who are unconditional who are kind and back them in their projects and in life you know we all need that a little bit so Wednesday and Thursday you're going to have some good people around you enjoy that it's a very harmonious time to spend with people um make some time for that don't get so busy that you don't have time to enjoy the people around you yeah it just looks fantastic like like a really happy fulfilling connected time with the people around you in your life so yeah and that can be you know even in your relationship you're feeling like you belong together like you're in the right place with that person like you are family you know a, a good relationships like that and in a good relationship your partner is your safe place you know it's the person you can tell anything who you can trust to take care of your feelings with tenderness you know not to step on you so to me that's what real family does whether that's your partner your friends or your actual family that's what's mattering the most on mattering I don't think that's actually a word that's what matters the most um on Wednesday and Thursday so on Friday Saturday and Sunday we've got justice people think oh, oh I'm going to be in trouble no no nobody's in trouble it's a higher justice that's coming to play here it's like getting some good karma you've done a lot of good things for people you've helped people you've showed them kindness understanding warmth and you're going to get some goodies back so be open to receive there's a strong message this week and these readings that being open to receive is really really important um and for independent people that can be hard i know that for myself i tend to try and do everything myself and yeah people have pointed that out to me <laughs> so be open to receive you've got some goodies some good karma some good energy some nice things coming back to you 
be open welcome it into your life be grateful for it and you're going to receive more of that so a very very nice energy so nice harmony with partners friends family things like that you're going to get a bit of appreciation back which is always nice you know you don't do things for the appreciation but it's nice when it's there and it happens and you know always feels good so yeah excellent week for you too so things are looking really really good it's a busy time um there's a lot going on i know here in new zealand you know more businesses are reopening which is good to see i do worry about people you know i have a lot of clients in new zealand and some from overseas and gee in some countries you know i was talking with an american client and what they're going through over there is so much more intense than what we're experiencing but even here you know i've spoken with a few people who've lost their businesses jobs those sort of things through all of this and my heart goes out to them and i really just want to say don't give up don't give up on yourself it's a tough time but some people are finding a new path through it they're going okay I'm, i've just lost my job i've been laid off what do i do but they come up with an idea of their own of something they want to do so you know try and stay optimistic and positive you've got this you've got the intelligence and the abilities to be able to make your life into what you want it to be it is an unfortunate time for many and i do hope that things ease and improve soon for everybody so anyway i want to send you lots and lots of love have a beautiful week thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time.